You have the right to remain silent. But we'd prefer if you didn't. Spinning the law, spinning the law. This is Malzberg's Spinning the Law with attorney Kendall Coffey. All right, folks, we welcome you back to the Big Steve Malzberg Show, and we say hello to the one and only Kendall Coffey. Hello, sir. Hey, hey, Steve. How are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It is Friday, and uh, it's beautiful out here. I assume wherever you are, it's uh, pretty nice out. Spectacular. Looking at some uh, some uh, Atlantic Ocean and some sailboats right now. Nice. Very nice. Well, I appreciate, yeah, you, uh, nice I appreciate you including me in that uh, in <laughs> that, that whole, uh, I guess, uh, puzzle or whatever it is, any, or painting. Anyway, okay, let's talk a little bit about, of course, the, uh, the Supreme Court decision that came down earlier this week, um, knocking down the, uh, the or basically what it did was, was it upheld the right of the people of Michigan to decide to knock down racial quotas uh, as a tool for admissions into their universities. And uh, there was a, a very... Uh energetic, perhaps passionate uh, dissent by Justice Sotomayor. It was a 6-2 decision. Justice uh, Kagan did not appear. But what was interesting is you didn't have uh, just five uh, Supreme Court justices in favor of the result. You, you had uh, Justice Breyer. Yes, who, six. Who call was a, uh, an appointee of, uh, of President Clinton. And uh, the message really was that states uh, can uh, make some choices in this area. That it's certainly not an easy, uh, you know, subject for anybody, but that, as I think Justice Kennedy put it well, the issue really wasn't: uh, Do you have? Uh, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing uh, to to ban any consideration of of race, as as was done by the the state of Michigan with respect to uh, university admissions? But isn't that something that could be within the prerogative of the state? So, for example, if a state wants to have some consideration of race, not as a quota, but as a plus factor, should the state have the right to do that? And if a state wants to completely eliminate any use of, of uh, racial preferences in university admissions, shouldn't that be within the prerogative of the state? So kind of the bottom line was it, uh, that the, it really is seen by Justice Kennedy and, and the majority of the court. It's not about racial preferences, but how that issue should be resolved. And again, the decision that the court made is it, it should be decided by the people of the state. Uh, and, uh, you know, we emphasize this isn't a case where there was uh, evidence of past discrimination and that this uh, might affect a remedy. This was a situation where this is what the state of Michigan decided. It was upheld. It's an important decision, Steve. I think other states uh, may consider following it. Uh, but, uh, uh, in some ways, it's a landmark. In some ways, it's uh, it's expected. Well, let me let me ask you this: Why does it then not extend uh, to? And uh, maybe I'm jumping to a conclusion, but this is uh, from everything I've heard and read. Why does it then not extend to, uh, let's say, a, 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 the right of a state to have a Prop 8 in California? I know it's a different issue, but if, if, is it not the, the same state's right? kind of an issue where the people have decided this is how they voted and and they have a right to or why or how was how is prop 8 different uh than uh, this prop that was voted on by the people of michigan well i, I mean that's that's a fair question uh, as we know justice kennedy often the, the swing vote had written uh in a an opinion that uh struck down uh something somewhat similar in colorado in the sense that it uh, but affecting gay rights laws, mm -hmm. uh, I I I think that the the Supreme Court has simply reached a point in, with respect to our history where where some of them think and you know Roberts uh, Chief Justice Roberts uh, you know is, has a very quotable comment as well that uh, we we've reached a point where uh, forms of of quotas with respect to uh, racial and other minorities, uh, ethnic minorities, uh, are, are simply not something that is, is required. It's almost a policy decision. It's a view of history. It's, it's not necessarily, strictly speaking, a view of the Constitution. You recall that Justice O'Connor had said that there should be some form, in, in her view, of a plus factor for at least uh, right. another couple of decades. Right. This court seems to be reaching the conclusion a little faster 
in terms of watching uh, the, the the flow of history. So was that, this? Uh, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. To no, interrupt. no. So, so so was this a decision of, based on their, the the court's view of affirmative action, or was this a decision based on uh, that said they had the, the state of Michigan had a right to 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 vote on this, and they voted on it legitimately, and it, it it'll stand because they have a right to decide these kinds of things. And and do they dis and obviously they distinction and make uh, between racial quotas and gay marriage. I mean, you know? There, there seems to be such a distinction. Uh, I think this would be, uh, as the Supreme Court described it, a decision that's based on the, the prerogative of, of the people of the state to, to make uh, that kind of decision in this very difficult area. But I also think that it's consistent uh, with a uh, judicial momentum, and I, I would not be astonished at all to see uh, – uh, a further uh, uh, approaches with respect to the subject of, a, of affirmative action over the next five years. I think that at some point it's going to be reconsidered again, and I'm not sure that uh, any form of racial uh, preference is, is going to survive uh, the next treatment. And let, I hope not, but let's 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 uh, keep in mind that God forbid, in my in my view, uh, President Obama gets to. Uh, 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 replace the swing vote and maybe a conservative justice uh, between now and the end of three years, and then all all bets would be off, I think. Well, I think the 016 uh, election is, is going to kind of decide that. I'm, I'm not sure anyone's expecting any retirements between no, now no, and No, no, not expected, but, you know, but uh, the unexpected. The yeah. 06 